Hey, how you doing? This is Cody Hall, spokesperson for the Red Warrior Camp. We just left the uh, County Commissioner's office here in Mandan and uh, concluding the public uh, commentary that was um, uh, the 45 minute block uh, tonight that uh, uh, County Commissioners gave, Morton County Commissioners gave uh, that opportunity. Uh, a lot of people have spoke, uh, Clyde Belkert, one of them, uh, my grandmother uh, spoke up uh, for the elders and essentially what has come about from this meeting is that they heard uh, the public comments, the concerns the, uh, of why this pipeline should not be built overall, not just in this area, but why it should not be built. And also, uh, I think what, what's gonna come about this from the commissioners is that they're gonna listen to the concerns of the people, but essentially they're still going to rule in favor of that declaration of emergency so that funds will be readily available and that mass, they're, they're going to be calling for a mass amount of some type of military presence, possibly from the National Guard, if not that, a huge amount of deputy sheriffs to come in and say that to arrest people for civil unrest of this situation to say that everything is a risk down there these people are a threat a terror that type of thing so essentially uh, they might be giving us this kind of no sense of, uh, of, of calm that they're trying to portray right now uh, as these commissioners uh, uh, left the meeting with but essentially uh, I think the way the tone was and the way that they talked is that they're gonna bring out uh, force if needed and that I really think that they're going to be pushing it for that so we need to be more out of a stance right now we cannot take that thumbs up approach that they gave us we need to look at this approach as they are really trying to gear up right now with the talk that they've had through press conferences and the press releases that they are gearing up for a mass amount of people to come down and arrest people at the camp possibly raid the camp and so I'm not fear-mongering my own people, but I'm saying that we witnessed it here. And I was, you know, here to report this to you guys and that we need to get the word out. We need to get the word out to the world now that they do not see us as civil. They do not see us as peaceful. They have a narrative that isn't true, and that's what they're acting on. So please follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, Red Warrior Camp and we'll keep you up with the latest. I hope.